What up, Shuckle? This is <laughs> Shannon Cook and... <laughs> Excuse me. <Nicole> <laughs> Sorry, I was a little taken aback there. Right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. See you soon. Yeah. She loves me. <laughs> Are we still going? I'm just going to keep doing stuff. I'm going to braid her hair. How many? What, did we do that? Was that that? Was that it? Did we just do it? Did I just say, mm -hmm, and that was the whole intro? Probably. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Thanks. I went to drama school for that, just yep. so you all know. Really well-educated yeah. actor right here. So, watch you Nene. <laughs> Hi, Are we live? Yes. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Hold on. <laughs> Can we get ready. Okay, start again. Hey guys. Hey, hey everybody. What's hey, up? All things. Shakol. Shakola la la. We did it. We did it. So, oh, do we supposed to read Maybe. this? Whoa, yeah. this is fast. Hi there. Hi, hi. Whoa. Avocado. No, that's it. Uh, this is really quick. Hi everyone, France. What's up? Ricola, Portugal, Germany. You guys Hi. are from all over the place. So cute. Italy is here. Hi. Italy, France, Texas, Quebec. Hello. Wow. Wait, can we move this Russia. Way? That's not a Russian accent. Move it all you want. Yeah. All we want. Shannon, we gotta like really cozy up here to make this happen. Yeah, like, I think that's what Let's they get want. Get in there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's it's happening? So what's going on? Damn. Um, cool. Well, what's going on, guys? How's the weather out there? It got really warm in Toronto today. It's super warm. Unusually so, because it was pretty cold last week. Mm -hmm. The weather's really been yo-yoing here a lot. <laughs> I might but be only one losing them. Nice. Don't lose us. Squeeze more, someone said. Squeeze more? Mm. Sure. <laughs> Maybe you should take your jacket off. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> What's going on? England is raining. Hi from Brazil. <laughs> LA is hot as bagels. Good one. That's bagels. Nice. Okay, are we ready to Toasted go? Toasted bagels. Yes. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Thanks, guys. Okay. Love you, too. So, let's start it off with Vanless Nat, who asks if you guys can do an impression of each other's characters. I'm bad. <laughs> you can't see. Can you see what he's? <laughs> he's like he's like striking so, it. I just came in with my bow and arrow. Here, this. <laughs> Is that really what I'm like? Well, no, it's a terrible impression. But what else am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. Okay, this is my impression of you. She's done many of them on the show, I have. if you pay attention. I do. I've been like, here, I know you don't like me, but shake my hand. It's funny. And then, and then, and then, and then, no. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then do the gun thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Okay. That was, that was that, like, guys? almost improvised. Like, we did a couple takes of that, and then Spencer was like, Shannon, just, like, twirl it. And I wasn't sure about it, but I went with it, yeah. Yeah, and then I didn't even know it was going to happen, and then I just mm. copied it impulsively. And then, it worked out well. Yeah, it was a thing. It was a whole thing. It did. It did. Uh, so, um, Dork Vanless asks, who is your favorite character besides your own, and why? Ooh. I love uh, that tall redhead. <laughs> <laughs> that bay. Sharon. I, th I think Bay's a different person. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's my favorite character? Ah, I don't know. I I think I like I think I like LaFontaine. Yeah. Yeah, I think mm. I'm into the like science angle. LaFontaine in real life's really cool too. Yeah, no kidding. Very Caitlin's intelligent, rad. very observant. Draco Pyromaniac asks, what was your first reaction to the Carmilla fan base? I was kind of shocked, but happy and impressed, and you know, proud that it was local and smoke bomb and and uh, its own sort of story. So I was definitely surprised on the YouTube with like, so many views. You guys are very supportive, and it's very touching, and you know, it sometimes feels undeserved, but it's uh, very flattering. And we, we love having you guys around, and uh, like it wouldn't be the same without you. So thank you. Yeah, my first reaction was shock. Uh, it was great. I, I felt like it was such a warm reception. There were all, there were tweets. There were there was fan art. I think I've talked before about how uh, much I enjoyed the fan art of the raining tampons. Um, so yeah, it's been such an awesome like so nice to have everybody be so welcoming. So thank you. Um. So. Hi, uh, Scott. Mac. Hello, Scott. Cassie asks, give yourself a nickname without judgment. 
Myself? Yeah. Uh... I don't know. My Best thing I thought was douchebag, but I don't think that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's appropriate. <laughs> like that, I'm gonna edit that one out. But I couldn't think of anything else. Well, my my real life nickname is Stamper, which I have no judgment about that. I like being called that. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Stamperoo. Uh, Wo Mung Yu Lai mm -hmm. asks, if you could give your character a backstory, what would it be? Hmm. He's a virgin. It's very, I think that'd be appropriate. <laughs> Am I allowed to be, do I have to be PG on this thing? Is that not Too PG? late now. <laughs> well, we, t oh, I mean, come on, we, there's a lot more crazy things on there. Um, <laughs> I think my character's backstory is that Mel probably wasn't always as um, comfortably being, wasn't always as comfortable being outspoken as she is now. I don't know. I, I, I think I'd have to spend some time delving into that, I think. I have some ideas, but it's, I would have to, I'd want to make sure it was canon, you know? I think mine comes from a poor background, and he, he knows he has to work really hard for, for what he has. He's very ambitious, and he's, uh, he doesn't think that friend, he thinks friends are a temporary thing, and things come and go, and he's very focused on what he wants and needs. He's very loyal if you are, you know, on the same team as him, but if not, he's, uh, he doesn't, you know, it's very easy to mix up r business and relationships, and he is pretty clear on what those are. Mm. Nego Vandal asks if either of you can do any impressions or accents, and if so, if you could demonstrate. Um, I'm terrible at that. I am terrible at doing that on the fly. Really? I can work in there, man. I mean, gosh, I don't know. I can, I can do some like singing impressions. Like I do a, a surprisingly not bad like. I'm like cream. Arnold. Like got to get out. Um, I can sing like the cranberries. Like I can sing zombie, and I kind of sound like the cranberries. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, like That's like oh yeah. why why would I even say that? What's the matter with me? <laughs> yeah, she's like. Is that zombies, right? All the things you said to me today change my perspective. Like, can I stop? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty okay. sick. That's pretty great. Be careful not to give anything away. But Smalls Vanless asks you to describe the season finale in two words. You're cheating. <laughs> I'm gonna say bad ass. That's two words or is that I don't wanna words? give them I don't wanna give them anything. I'm just gonna say you're cheating. I'm not saying anything. You gotta wait and see. It's gonna be you're gonna it's gonna I don't I don't even yeah, I'm gonna keep quiet from now. Just watch it. Watch it. Um Gay Carmas, how do you guys prepare for your roles for Carmilla? Um, I watched the whole series, and I read all the scripts, and I took archery lessons, um, and what else did I do? I think I, th I thought a lot about body language. I, th I decided that she's really athletic. Um, I wanted her to really feel in her body, and I go to, you know, you do some auditions where you, you know that it's going to be a close-up the whole time, so you're really playing like these tiny, minuscule <clears throat> internal emotions. But having watched Carmela, I knew that it was going to be done in like a big wide shot, so you'd see full body. So I wanted to make sure that Mel felt really grounded in her physicality, because I think she's athletic. So I, I, the morning of, I was like doing like calisthenics to like <laughs> feel really physical and comfortable and grounded, and I kind of came into the audition like, bah! like very full body engaged. That's what I did. Yeah, she's a sexy character. Um, I uh, was, uh, <laughs> everyone's like falling on the floor, yeah. Seriously though, but anyway, so Thanks. I watched the whole series like on YouTube because I hadn't seen the show, so I'd be doing the dishes, cleaning the house, I just played through the whole season, then just read the script. But I actually, uh, you know, originally did uh, Theo in an American accent, and then when I met with Spence, the director, he's, he asked if I was interested in doing it in my own, and I was like, sure, because all my other work has not been in my own accent. So I was very uh, open to that. And um, then just uh, trying to know my lines on set, because everything was happening so fast, and we weren't really sh used to shooting that quickly. Because, you know, the advantage with theater is you rehearse stuff, you do a rehearsal, and you find it, and then you, you do it in one take, or one, one performance uh, each time. And then with TV, you 
you do it, you do like maybe three takes, uh, but you don't get to rehearse. Whereas in this case, we wanted to do one take, but with no rehearsal. So it was, uh, you had to really be on your toes and then be in a physical space because you're on camera, but also at a distance. Mm -hmm. So just try to get a sense of the space and how the cast ticks and, um, and to be in the world of the, the story. We're being asked to blow them a kiss. Um, someone said you seem so nice. I can't tell I'm if they probably mean not talking you or me. <laughs> <laughs> Susanna underscore Gask asks, what is your dream role? Ooh. My dream role? You know, that really changes as time goes because I think as a person I, I have different, uh, you know, baggage and things along my way. So there's different things I'm interested in now than I was yesterday and that I will be tomorrow. So there's no like end goal for me. Um, I'm, I'm interested in all sorts of roles and I hope to do a plethora of different tones of work. So I don't really want to be attached to one thing or one vision and being attached to something, you know, even in relationships, you expect things of people and you expect things of this and that's when you, you, you land up in disappointment and you just want to really try be in gratitude of what is there and, uh, and what you're growing from in the moment. I think for me, I get, um, <clears throat> I get cast to play a lot of characters who are sort of in control in whatever moment they're in. They're often like in a very um, confident uh, space. I haven't played a lot of characters who are really vulnerable. Um, so I think I'd be interested in exploring that. I don't care too much like the specifics of what the, who the character is, but exploring like a deeper side of vulnerability, I think for me would be something that I would be interested in. And I think something that we both relate to too is being ethnic. We often feel like we're sort of, you know, my, put into one sort of bracket and we can't be something because we're the ethnic person or there's you know only one eth one ethnic person in a cast or you know so it's like oh I can't just be a general person I have to have this thing attached to me and um, that's something that we're trying to break down with our roles uh, you know and the thing is changing slowly right yeah I mean there are certain kinds of roles that I <clears throat> I won't I just don't even go for like I and my agent's awesome and understands it so I just don't go for certain things and there's certain kinds of I just have like a sort of like a private personal manifesto of the kind of work I'm interested in doing and the kind that I'm just not interested in doing. Um, and so that's kind of my personal way of addressing that politically. Like there's just some things where I read it and I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. It's funny because actually on the way here, like someone called and said, do you want to do this job? And I was like, I, I kind of realized like my philosophy in life right now is like either it's like hell yeah or nah. Like if I don't like want to do it, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna like, oh, maybe, I don't know, it'd probably be okay, like I just, I don't wanna commit to stuff that's not interesting to me anymore. So I'm at this point where I'm just like, if it excites me, if the collaborators are awesome, if the work is awesome to me in some way, I'll totally do it and I'll, I'll move hell or high water to do it too. But if it's like, eh, eh, I don't care. I'm not motivated by money, I'm not motivated by like career prestige, I'm motivated by like being engaged by what I do. So that's kind of like my new thing in that regard, like, and there's something to be said for, you know, stereotypes because those things are the stereotypes for a reason. But then there's also the level that you want there to be other, a more expansive vision of what is actually, well, representation of what, what's actually there. So when I was a kid, I had no, not really any role models that I, that I saw on TV that I saw as myself that I could relate to. Whereas, you know, with Camilla, for some of you, that's something you don't see represented very much. And I think that's why I've spoken to a lot of you, you folks. But... You know, I think it's also important for ethnic people to not just be told that they that is who they have to be. They have to be that math guy or that asexual sort of character or the, the clown. You can be the quarterback or, you know, just the, the warrior or something like that. You don't have to be the best friend or, mm -hmm. you know, we can be those too, but that's not all that you should be. And I feel like media tells us that and uh, that, that makes me put up a bit of a wall sometimes. So I try to take that into consideration in my roles. Long answer to that one question. I work with I work with <laughs> friends a lot. Like a lot of my friends, I've gotten I'm so lucky. I've gotten to a point where my friends have started like writing parts for me and stuff. And it's great because I can have conversations with them and just say like, you know what? Like I want to come at this from this kind of direction. I'm not interested in. There's a certain kind of jokes I'm not interested in. There are certain character traits I'm not interested in. Um, there are certain like regions I'm not going to pretend that I'm from. Um, and it's just I just kind of like. There was one project that I got kind of started to get involved with, and I was just like, you know what, this does not fit. Like, I'm not going to do this. And I, I pulled out of it and decided to just not put myself in that situation again. So I make decisions based on what am I excited about. And part of that is like creatively, and part of that is politically too. There's just some things I won't do. So Carmilla is awesome because, I mean, I have friends who are, who are genderqueer, who are queer, who are trans, whatever. Like, I, I, I love the idea that there's 
there's characters on this show um, who represent so many different ways of being and that, that there are so many people, like seeing everybody at Fan Expo come and say, you know, I've, I've been able to sort of like come to terms with aspects of my gender or sexuality from watching this show, that felt awesome. Like that kind of feeling is like such a, that's why I do this. I want to connect with people. I want to be a part of something that's meaningful to people. I don't just want to like do famous bullshit, you know? But you want to be malleable too. You want to be water. Like, uh, you know, I'm saying this stuff. I don't want to make you guys be like, this is who I am. And this is what I'm sticking to. I mean, you sort of want to bend the situation a bit. Like I may have told you this before, but I was having a photo shoot for something in a suit. And the guy was like, hey, can you do a kick? And it's not the first time I've been asked to do a kick before. From nowhere, dude. So I'm like, a kick? What? Uh, okay, so I did like a flying kick, okay, oh. in a suit. But then when I did the flying kick, I actually like, I checked my watch, I adjusted my bow tie, and I did the flying kick at the same time. Just to make it not sort of so Hong Kong, mm. you know, I just sort of gave it a bit of modern <laughs> flair. And the photo turned out pretty well, but I sort of gave them what they wanted, but I made it my own at the same time. And that's sort of what we need to sort of do. You get geeky roles or certain roles, and you make them how you want to make them, you know? So that's up to you how you want to interpret that. Yeah, I quietly improvise a lot of new jokes. I'm going to have to cut you guys off. Great answer, great answer. Sorry, that was amazing. But we're going to the lightning round. So you guys have oh. to Oh, pow, pow. We're going to attack. Get down. <laughs> I punch these lightning bolts out of here. <laughs> Who are you talking to? So I'm going to ask you questions, and you have to answer as quickly okay, as okay, you can. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? Okay. What's the favorite thing about your characters? She's tough. He's a man. What house of Harry Potter would you belong to? Gryffindor. I have no watch show. What's your favorite song to play on a road trip? Happy. Uh -oh. Musicals. Got, got any dorky or surprising talents? I can blow spit bubbles with my, my mouth. Do it. It takes a long time. I have to take like five minutes. Oh, really? Okay. okay. What are you a fangirl for? <laughs> I'll try to do it right for? now. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh. Uh, I don't think I'm really a fangirl for anything. Come on. Sorry. What's your favorite meal? Steak. Uh, chickpea lentil curry. Best hugger on the cast. Ooh. Me. <laughs> <laughs> if you could play any other character, who would it be? Shh. Yeah, Sharon's. I maybe Maddie. <laughs> DC or Marvel? Marvel. <laughs> do you do you guys have a favorite band or artist? Just Ginger. Uh, favorite, I mean, I love Sia. I love Ginger, Just Ginger. I used to love the Bare Naked Ladies when I was a youngin', like so much, and I still have kind of a soft spot, so maybe, maybe I'd say them. Uh, who's cooler, Mel or Theo? Mel's cooler. <laughs> She's cooler. But I'd want Theo to, if he had my back in like a bad situation. I, f I, feel like, I think Theo is, is <laughs> hipper, but Mel's more sincere. Mel's so cooler. She's much which. cooler. I don't think Theo's that cool. No, Theo's hip. I think he's got his mm. jacket and stuff. Mm. Okay. Are you <laughs> are you sweet or savory? Savory. Savory. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Controlling atoms. Mm. I could like move things. <laughs> I could make things. I could you know. <laughs> you said that so fast. <laughs> I mean, I've thought about this. I, I, uh, I struggle with punctuality on occasion, so I would like to be able to stop time. And I would also probably use that time to like go through people's drawers because I'm real nosy. Uh-oh. <laughs> super salad. What's in, the, what's in the super salad? What would you prefer, super salad? Oh, soup or salad. I thought you said like a super salad. Uh, <laughs> super salad. Uh, super salad. Soup. Soup. What would you want to be a member of the Zetas or the Summers? Summers. Thomas, yeah. Really? I think so. Why? The you Zetas are kind of dumb sometimes. Like, the Summers are sort of, you know, maybe they're smart, most sm smarter Zetas out there, but the Summers, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's because they're pretty, I don't know. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? I think South my next Africa. trip's going to be Spain. I haven't been there in so long, my family. If you were acting, what would you want to be doing? I am acting, and it's awesome. Oh, if I wasn't acting. Director. <laughs> I was, if I was acting, I'd be doing this. Uh, on the beach. Emergency room doctor. With this guy. Okay, and we got one last one. <laughs> would you steal candy from a baby? Who's the baby yeah, and how good's the candy? <laughs> 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 <Another question. laughs> how cute is the baby and how good is the candy? That's what I want to know. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Okay. That's it? That's all we have Is that all? For. Damn Thank it. Thank you, Cream Puffs. You're the best. Love Thank you, guys. you for all the little Sorry, hearts. I couldn't read everything while I was talking. I'm not a very good multitasker. Dark, dark chocolates. Dark all the way. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Red wine, you know. You know, briefs. Box of briefs. So on. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
see that subscribe button? You should click it.